helping you boost the effectiveness of your favorite GLP-1 medications, semaglutide or zepatide. We've been getting this question asked a lot. And what I think they're really trying to ask is, what should I be doing now so that when I lose my weight, I can actually wean off the meds and maintain my weight? Let's talk about it, guys. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Dr. Jones DC, a holistic obesity expert that specializes in sustainable weight loss, where we utilize science-backed methods to focus with lifestyle intervention on those underlying mechanisms that drive obesity and set our patients up for success to be able to wean off the medications. Number one, we have to add some intermittent fasting, guys, aka time-restricted eating. We'll make it real simple for you. You look at the window of hours in which you're consuming your first calories and the last hour of the day you're consuming your, your, your calories. That's your eating window. Most people have a 12 to 14 hour uh, eating window. Let's compress that down to six to eight hours every single day. Number two, let's start a low carb slash ketogenic diet. Don't stress or freak out about having to blow ketone bodies or measure it or how low. Just lower your carbohydrate intake as much as you can and replace it with healthy fats. You can have some saturated fats. You can have some delicious tasting animal fatty meat cuts. That's okay if they're high quality, but really focus on replacing it with healthy fats like small fish, avocados, olive oils, olives. All of those are great and very beneficial for you. Number three, let's add some weightlifting. Resistance training is vital because muscle mass is vital, not just for health in so many reasons, but muscle mass actually burns more calories at rest, guys. So if you only have two to three times a week, 30 minutes to work out, all you should be doing is solid resistance training and lift like you're trying to build muscle. Ditch the aerobic lifting, ditch the circuit classes if you can, while some lifting is better than none, you want to lift like you are trying to build muscle, but don't worry, you won't because you're on a weight loss program, guys. And then finally, number four, let's avoid sugar like the plague. You do not need sugar to live. I get, the, I had a debate over this very thing. Your body needs calories. Your body needs energy. Your body needs protein and your body needs fat. It does not need carbohydrates. It could make carbohydrates. Now, is this an argument that why you should be keto for the rest of your life? You already know how I feel about that. No. But what I'm saying is you don't need carbohydrates. So when you do eat carbohydrates, you're going to eat healthier sources. You don't need sugar because sugar drives blood sugar, which drives insulin. And that is a big culprit behind obesity, guys. If you want to learn some more amazing strategies, better yet, you want to have successful, sustainable weight loss on your GLP-1 journey, click my profile icon, scroll to the top, check out the various resources, schedule a free consultation and learn more guys. Do not procrastinate and wait to New Year's. I have a lot of cool promotions that I'm doing for you. And as always, stay healthy.